Hello, everybody, and welcome to the presentation for the BTEC First Award in Sport. Uh, I'm Mr. Atkins. I'm Director of Sport at St. Joseph's, and I'm going to give you a bit of an outline on what to expect from this course, the units that we do, and what you can go on and do after you've studied with us. OK, and, and you know, try and convince you that this is the right course for you. Obviously, at the moment, um, lockdown has affected sport very badly, um, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully when things do improve, you know, what better way to, to come out of this than, than by playing sport, getting active, you know, and staying healthy. OK, so the exam board is Edexcel. Um, the course structure is on this slide here. The, the qualification um, is providing an engaging and stimulating introduction to the world of sport for our boys. You know, it covers things such as fitness for sport, sport psychology, personal performance. Um, and there's four units that are studied. Fitness for sport and exercise is the first unit. Uh, practical sports performance, the second one. Training for personal fitness is the third. And leading sports activities is the final one. Now, we will do all four of those over the two years. And I'll go into a bit more detail about them on the next slide. Uh, unit one, the fitness for sport and exercise, you will take first. So this will be done in the first couple of terms in year 10. Uh, this is an online exam, all right? So it's about the components of fitness, different types of training methods, uh, fitness testing, and you, you will do this practically as well as studying for it in the classroom. Um, unit two is practical sports performance. So within that unit, you will learn about the rules and regulations of sports, the skills, the tactical and technical skills required to play them. And you will then have to perform these sports yourself. Okay, You can choose these two sports. You will then be videoed playing the sports and you'll have to analyze your own performance um, based on those videos. As well as that, you'll get the chance to play against the other class, maybe, or other people in your class and watch the videos back. So it's fun. Uh, unit three is the training for personal fitness. This involves you uh, creating a six week training program uh, for your own personal fitness, reviewing that program to see if, if, if it helped you, if your fitness benefited, and then seeing what you would do to improve it in the future. Again, we will do those sessions. So you actually will practically do the sessions in the gym or you know out on the playground, whatever you plan. Um, and the last unit is leading sports activity. So here you'll learn about skills required to be a good leader, You know your favorite coaches that you admire in the world. Um, you'll then plan your own session, deliver this session to younger children, and review your performance as a coach or a teacher within that lesson. Uh, extracurricular activities that we offer as part of this course. So a lot of our students on the BTEC sport course represent the school um, in various sports. So they get the opportunity to go to other schools, play in different fixtures. Um, as well as that, our BTEC sports students will have the chance to run those fixtures, maybe run tournaments for younger kids and become sports leaders. Um, we also run reward trips to Wembley, Twickenham to watch the football and the rugby for our, our best performing students. Um, students will also visit local primary schools to deliver sports sessions. And as well as that, our BTEC sports students generally get more use of our facilities at the school. So, you know, extra use of the gym, extra use of the sports hall, all that kind of thing. So there's a lot of benefits in terms of extracurricular activities. Uh, the way the course is assessed is on this slide here. So we've got as I've said already, the unit one um, fitness for sport is an exam. It's an online exam. Um, and the rest of the units are coursework units. However, unit two, we will assess you on your practical sporting ability as well as that. Uh, to give you an idea of what the grades mean, so pass merit distinction, a pass is the equivalent to a grade four at GCSE. A merit is the equivalent to a grade six. And a distinction is the equivalent to a grade seven or eight. Now, traditionally, our boys get merits and distinctions on this. So you know, if you come onto the course, you know, there's every chance you'll come away with a, a really good grade to, to kick on when you join a sixth form or a college. Why study BTEC sport? Well, there's six points I've put here, but there's obviously many more. Uh, one, you get to play a lot more sport during your school week on top of your PE lessons. So, you know, it's not all about sport and playing sport. Obviously, there are elements of it where you have to um, study in class, but you will get to play a lot more sport by doing this course. Um, sport keeps you fit and healthy, makes you happier. Um, you'll learn valuable skills about how to coach sport, test fitness, and stay fit yourself. Um, there's only one exam to worry about, and we get that out of the way early on in, in, in the first year of the course. Um, a chance to go on the BTEC sport reward trips, and a, a step on the ladder to possibly representing Chelsea at futsal um, when, you, when you stay with us and, and, and do the sixth form course that we offer as well. Future pathways and careers from this. So, 
obviously you can stay with us and study our Cambridge technical qualification in, in sick form. Um, you can you can study A-level PE. There's lots of career opportunities as well that you get from this course. You can become a PE teacher like us, um, a sports coach, a sports event organizer, sports media work, a physiotherapist, personal trainer, and many, many, many more. There's lots of jobs in sport. You know, the job market is, is very wide and varied. So doing this course will help you on your way to that. Who is the course suitable for? So the key things we look for in our students are a passion for sport. Now, if you don't like sport, then there's not much point really doing BTEC sport. Okay? So you need to have a passion for sport. You need to like sport. You need to enjoy watching it and playing it. Um, a hardworking can-do attitude as well. So it's important that our students have a positive attitude to work. They have to get coursework done. You know, there's a lot of coursework on this course. Once the coursework is done, you know, then we can play sport. All right. So a hardworking attitude is very important. Uh, maybe have played sport outside of school for a team or a club um, and a desire to stay fit and healthy. So we want boys that, you know, they want to stay fit. You know, they want to play sport. They want to they want to improve their, their sporting ability. That, that helps you to have that desire to do well on our course as well. It's not suitable for anybody who thinks that they're going to come on to BTEC sport and, and just play sport all the time because that's not how it works. Right. You have to study theory side of it as well. OK, don't get me wrong. We will play sport, but there is coursework to do. So don't come on to BTEC sport if you think it's just going to be an extra PE lesson because it's not. All right. If you're interested or if you've got any more questions, my email address is on this side here at the bottom and I'll be happy to um, give you more information. Good luck. Thank you.